This is one of the best base defenses in Madden 23. Shuts down the run. It gets crazy pressure against the pass. And gets takeaways all game. So if you want to see what new defense I'm using that gets results like this, stick around after the intro. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. In today's video, I'm going to be using two of my newest playbooks that I've recently put out in the Buffalo Bills offense and the Las Vegas Raiders defense. The Raiders is easily one of the best defenses in the entire game. It has a lot of my favorite and most used formations that I've already put out plays from, like the 3-4 odd, which has my best run defense in the cup four quarters, the meta 4-3 even 6-1, which has one of the best base defenses in the Sandwell Blitz, the nickel 24, which has the Overstorm Brave meta, and the Silver Pinch Shoot, which I recently put out, the 3-3 Cub for my Sandwell blitz scheme and the 23 sam which is essentially the dollar which also has my db fire too but i've already put out all those defenses and i'll try to have links in the description for all those videos and while i will be using some of them in this video as well i'm going to show you guys a brand new defense from this playbook as well as giving you guys a sneak preview to what might be my new favorite offense to use out of the buffalo bills as always if you guys want to see more offensive and defensive Woo! gameplays like this please make sure to be a subscriber hit the like button let me know in the comment section but if you want to see more from this or any of my ebooks and you don't want to wait all you have to do is click the links in the description or the top pinned comment and you can download them instantly to your phone or laptop and and have them sent to the email of your choice. I'm back to using my Eagles, and I can't help but notice that they immediately dropped to an 88 overall following their first loss. Yeah, all right, I'll see you guys there. I started this game out on defense, and I'm going to be using the big nickel over G, which has been one of my favorite formations for years, but it isn't in every playbook like it was the first year it was put in the Madden. I like this defense because after the defensive line, you have the option to make the rest of the defense safeties and cornerbacks if you choose to switch out this linebacker for a safety, which gives you better speed and coverage ability for pass defense. The base defense I'm going to be using today is the SS Blitz 3. There's also an SS Blitz 2, which you can use the exact same way, but I feel that the Cover 3 match is a much better defense for the reasons I'll be showing you throughout this video. On the first play, this guy is running the Wildcat, so I don't really set it up the same way I normally would, but you can see how having extra defensive players in the box can help nope. as we stop him for our one-yard loss. On the next play, I get the full sediment, only to see him change formations entirely. As I can tell, this guy is going to be a tough puzzle to solve, but the base setup for this play Play is simple. All I'm going to do is pinch the defense, which is the RB or the R1 button, whether you're on Xbox or PlayStation, then down on the right stick. Next, I just want to make sure the blitzing cornerback is about five yards outside the defensive end off the line of scrimmage. The last step is to blitz my user and hover the guard pre snap before dropping back into coverage. If you think your opponent's going to pass, guessing pass will definitely help as well, as it will send the blitzing cornerbacks directly for the quarterback. If you have time, you want to get the curl flat defender on the opposite side into the same spot five yards off the line of scrimmage on the other side as this will help with outside run defense and you'll also have the option to blitz either him or the cornerback and your opponent will never know until after the snap on the next play you can see both get in on block but this is aaron Rodgers, who has one of the fastest releases in the game due to him having gunslinger so that will make the blitz much less effective as he flips it out over my blitzing cornerback for close to a first down but if you watch what the matching cover three curl flat does on that play, you can see how he reacts to the route in his area rather than just standing in a zone when no one is around like normal cover threes typically do. If you want them to play like that, all you have to do is adjust over the top coverage or play sticks and they will go back to that but I find that this setup is much more effective over the length of a game. On third and two, I expect them to run, so I switch over to the cover four match, which is always my run defense in just about any formation I use, only to see him pass once again, which I probably should have expected because he's using Aaron Rodgers. He goes back to the Wildcat and gets his biggest play of the drive, so I switch over to my number one run defense that I mentioned earlier in the video, the 3-4 odd cut for quarters. I will try to have links in the description to this and all of the defenses that I've already put out that can be found in this playbook in the description as well. On the next play, I shut him down for a two-yard loss. Then on third, and three i come out in that again and my rookie nicobe dean looks like he's in perfect position but he's a 70 overall that makes no plays unless i use him as the ball goes right past him for the first what the hell was that on the next play, I decide to switch it up and send an all-out blitz with my new Overstorm Brave setup that I recently put out as well, and the pressure gets in, but once again, it gets away for the biggest gain of the drive. This is one of the reasons I started running cover threes. It feels like everyone has figured out an offense for Man Zero Blitz now, and you really have to mix in more zones to be effective. So I go back to the SS Blitz 3, and the pressure finally forces a bad pass. But then on the next play, I run again, and he diagnoses one of the weaknesses of this defense, and that is the seams. Aaron Rodgers throws a lightning bolt 
for a touchdown. Every defense has a weakness. For cover three, it's the seams. You can also typically beat the corners underneath without routes, but since I'm pinching the defense, that usually stops that because the receivers don't have the same eight yard cushion they typically do. So that really only leaves the seams, and I will show you what adjustments to use to take that away later in the next possession. On offense, I'm going to preview a brand new offense that I plan on making a video about tomorrow, and that's the Pistol Open Flex, which is an offense that I first put out last year when it was added to the game. Let me know in the comments section if you guys remember that video as it was very popular and this year might be even glitchier as I find it might be the best running offense in the game. I already put out a full practice mode breakdown of this offense on my brand new second channel that I just started that is all in-depth practice mode style breakdowns of offenses and defenses that I use in my gameplays on this channel. So if you guys want to see a full breakdown of this scheme right now, I will have a link in the description of this video to my second channel. So please make sure to be a subscriber there as well as I do plan on dropping weekly videos. This formation is all about the run plays. He's coming out in 3-4 defenses, which should give him a huge advantage, but we go right through it for the first down. I run the first few plays to set up the PA boot, which usually gets wide open once your opponent starts to focus on stopping the run as we get another first down. He really starts stacking the box, but when I say this is the best running offense in the game, I mean exactly that. I mean he easily has 9 men in the box, and I am winning a 3 wide receiver set with only 6 blockers, but look at the alley this small formation creates as we get another big run for a first down. I'm really only running the motion zone split outside run and the inside zone weak for inside run at this point. You can tell he has no answer. But there's a lot more plays in this offense. This formation does have some glitchy pass plays like the RPO reef flat wheel, which was banned from being used in EA tournaments recently, as the motion route beats any zone and even some man coverages as we get into a third and short. We get the first down, and then on the next play, he stacks the box one more time. So we go back to the motion zone split. And if you follow the motion receiver outside, you will see huge lanes just like this as we easily break through for a big touchdown run to take the lead. Back on defense, we switch to the 33 club in the Samwell Blitz 3, and he goes right back to that same seam, then hits me with a hurry up to keep me in it. So I quickly switch over to cover one, but he recognizes it and hits the crosser, and now he is moving right down the field. I decide I want more pressure, so I go back to the SS Blitz 3, and if I pause the screen, you can see that the curl flats do a pretty good job of taking away the seams from slot receivers. So he decides to check it down to the running back underneath for a short gain, as the free blitzer was making his way around the corner. He then hurries me up once again. This time I make an adjustment to user the tight end in the seam because I know that the slot receiver will get matched by the curl flat. So I start back a little bit further which ultimately sacrifices the blitz but it allows me to undercut the streaking tight end. Gotcha, bitch. Which was the exact same adjustment he scored on earlier in the game. The seams might be the weakness but it only comes from someone that is close to the line of scrimmage like a tight end or from certain gun bunch or gun tight formations that you have to watch for. Otherwise his defense is shut down. So now I have the ball but I only have 24 seconds seconds left, which is plenty of time for me to give you a preview of some of the one play touchdowns from the Bills offensive ebook that I just put out. One of the best is the fullback flare, which is another play that I put out last year that can really score against any defense of the game. My opponent's been running a lot of cover three, and this particular play has two different setups against cover three. Since I'm on the hash mark to the short side of the field, I will run that setup, but this setup requires a lot of speed, and I forgot to put Quez Watkins in the right spot. But you can see the setup and the potential, so don't be surprised if you see this in a future video, as my receiver did get over the top of the cornerback. No! I sub in Watkins for the next play and choose that play again, but this time I guess I spooked him because he is now in what looks like a cover four match. So I go to my cover four match adjustment. Break yourself, fool! <laughs> and even though I threw it a little bit late, we are gone for an 88 yard touchdown with seven seconds left before half. I start the second half with the ball and we're going right back to that annoying run scheme as we get into his territory in just one play. We then run it again and we're already in field goal range. He keeps changing formations and defenses, but you can tell that he has no answer on how to stop these run plays. And I'm not really sure he can, to be honest, as we are gashing his defense, averaging almost 10 yards a carry at this point, and almost in the red zone in just three carries. I mean, you can tell by the previous play screen that he is desperately going through his entire defensive playbook trying to find something to stop this. Like, seriously, who uses this defense? What, are you f***ing retarded or something? That ain't Right. On the next play, he hits me with a man zero blitz defense that actually gets a stop for a two yard loss, so I know he's going to be running that again. So I switch over to the best man beating play in this formation, the PA pin deep. All you have to do is block the fullback and put the A route and the zig route, and every route here destroys man zero as we get a wide open touchdown 
to take a commanding lead late in the third. Back on defense, knowing he has to pass at this point, we're going to set our zone drop flats to 10, our curl flats to 20, and our hooks to 15 to try to naturally take away some of these routes. Because this is a match coverage, I don't typically set my zone drops, but I know he has to throw the ball deep. Will it help? I guess we'll never find out, as once again, I know that only the closest receiver to the line of scrimmage can hurt me up that seam. Gotcha, bitch! He tries to force it, and we jump that route once again for an easy pick to essentially end the game as my opponent is suddenly having trouble with his internet provider. So that's it, that's the vid. Try out that cover three play and let me know what you guys think. If you want to see more videos like this, as always, please be subscribed, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, I will have some of the other defenses that I use in this video popping up on the screen, like my three, four odd run defense. So if you guys want to check that out, I'm sure it'll help out your game. Other than that, thanks for watching, man, my shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.